Hello there. My name is Julia Wanjiko. My friends call me Julie, so you can also call me Julie from St. Mary's Church, Kabete. I just want to take a few minutes of your time to talk about um, something that I believe many of us are going through with this COVID-19 pandemic. And that is issues of anxiety and panic. We're anxious because we are living in a time where we have not gone through this kind of thing before. We have not gone through a pandemic before. People talk about the Spanish flu and other global pandemics before this one. But this is the first time that we are living through this situation. It's the first time that we cannot congregate in church like we used to. Some of us are working at below 30% capacity of workforce. Others have lost their jobs. Others have had their jobs taken over completely by technology. Like if we can have a machine do this, then why do we need you also to come here? Some have been forced to take pay cuts, 20%, 30%, others even 80%. And so as a parent, you may be wondering, how do you navigate through this situation? Schools have closed. We were looking forward that by the end of April, something would have changed and our children would have been back in school. But we've been told that they will stay home through the month of May. And so this is enough, more than enough, to get any one of us to our breaking point. It used to be that we used to quote scriptures from the Bible and it was all fine and easy because during that time we did not think that this would come and we would have to leave the faith that we have been talking about for so long. The Bible says that just shall live by faith. It's time to put that in practice. And so we find ourselves in a situation where we are anxious, we are worried, we are frustrated and sometimes we are even angry. I just want to share with you my personal experience because that may, may help you or maybe you may even relate with what um, I'm going through or maybe what you are going through. I work in the media. I am a radio presenter. So we are one of those uh, professions that President Uhuru Kenyatta said we provide essential services. So for some of us, we cannot work from home. So we have been going to work throughout this pandemic. I have been on air every single day since this pandemic began. As a parent, especially as a mother, it started taking its toll on me and initially I didn't even realize it. You're going to work, you're meeting people out there and then so you start feeling like, am I not taking my own life seriously? Is my employer not taking my life seriously? that I am out there. And I remember even having this conversation with one of my supervisors. I asked, what sense does it make that while my, the rest of my family is in isolation, I still keep coming back to work? So if I am putting myself at risk, it's only a matter of time before they are also at risk. Then I started feel, uh, battling with issues of, am I a good mother? Like, why would I put myself through this if I'm a good mother? Is it that I do not care about my son? as much as I say I do or as I thought I did because why is life for me going on like normal and yet everything and everyone around me everything has changed everyone's life has changed so I found myself battling so much with anxiety and let me tell you one of the scriptures that really really helped me this is in the book of Psalm chapter 118 verse 24 it says this is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. I know it's a Sunday school song and we usually even sing it a lot in church. And God has been speaking to me and ministering to me, to my heart through this scripture. Today, this is the day. Not yesterday, not tomorrow. Because I realized where, why I was getting so anxious is because I cannot wait for this thing to end. We like to control things. We like to know this is when it started. This is how long it will last. This is when we will come out of this pandemic. So for me, not knowing, and for many people out there, not knowing when this will end and what impact, the level of impact it will have in our lives has been very nerve wracking. So God has been speaking to me through this scripture, Psalm 118 verse 24. This is the day that the Lord has made. I'd just like to share that scripture with you, that not yesterday, not tomorrow, I don't have the answers. Even the scientists don't have the answers as to when this thing will end. 
but that you are alive today, that I am alive today, that we have enough grace for today. When Jesus was preaching in the sermon um, on the mountain, he talked about, this is in the book of Matthew, chapter 6, verse 34. He talked about, um, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow has its, each day has its own troubles. Tomorrow will worry about itself. I'm not saying that we throw caution to the winds and now we don't care, we don't plan, we don't make arrangements. But what do you change when you worry? That's the question God has been asking me through this. When you worry so much about when this will end or how it will end or how you will make it through, what are you able to change? Through worry, can you turn a single black hair white? Can you turn a white hair black because you're worrying? See, this is the thing. Anxiety and worry looks around. Regret looks behind. But faith, that looks up. So maybe this is the time where, in the book of Psalm 121, I lift my eyes to the hill. Where are you putting your eyes? Where is your focus even through this? Is your focus on regret, looking back? Oh, I wish I had done this. Had I known that this pandemic was coming, I'd have done this. Is your focus on the things around you? Because when you focus on what, what is happening around you, like the number of confirmed cases and the number of deaths around us, that's, that's enough to send you into a frenzy. But if your focus is up, if your focus is on God, it doesn't mean that people are not dying. It doesn't mean that the numbers are not going up. It just means that God, this is the one thing I cannot control. I don't know how long it will take. I have no idea when this will end, how we will come out. But what I do know is that before we even knew the word COVID or COVID-19, you knew about it. When we were making those declarations on December 31st, 2019, declaring that 2020 was going to be our year of double portion and our year of great blessing, you heard our prayers and you knew that COVID-19 was coming. But you have promised that you will still get us through this. My final thoughts. When the children of Israel came out from Egypt and they were in transition to Canaan, God sent them manna. Now when I read this scripture, I found it so interesting that every day God would give them enough manna for that day. Just allow me to quote that. That is in Exodus chapter 16 verse 14. God gave the children of Israel enough manna to last them that day. If they tried to save that day's manna, what happened is that it would grow molds and it would grow stale so that they would not even find it useful the following day. God is giving us enough grace for each day. Just take it one day at a time. He's giving you the grace that you need for this day. He's giving you the joy that you need for this day. He's giving you the peace of mind that you need for this day. He is giving us what we require for every single day. So when those thoughts come and you want to look at 10 days from now, 10 hours from now, 10 minutes from now, that doesn't belong to us. Tomorrow does not belong to you. It does not belong to me. What we have right now, that is what we ought to be grateful for. Because in as much as sometimes we say, don't get caught up in the past, what happens is sometimes we get caught up in the future so that we forget to live this moment. So if you forget everything else, please remember this, that just as God provided manna, enough for each day for the children of Israel, he's providing us with enough grace, enough joy, enough peace of mind, enough hope for this day. And at the end of the day, what I do, what I've learned to do, is thank him for that grace. And the following morning I ask him, give me enough grace for this day. So I hope with those um, thoughts that um, you and I will turn our focus on God. It's easy to look around us. It's easy to look at the news. I work in the news industry. So I hear those numbers every other day. But at the end of the day, I have to remind myself that God, it doesn't matter what tomorrow holds. It only matters who holds my tomorrow, who holds my today, and he will get me through this. Because God is not a man that he should lie, not a son of man that he should change his mind. The things he promised us before COVID, he knew COVID was coming and he will stand by every single one of those promises. So my encouragement to you is just to hold on to God and receive the daily manna that he's given you for today. Receive that manna. Thank you so much for your, for your time. My name is Julie. I wish you a lovely week ahead and may the God of all peace comfort us and walk with us through this pandemic.
Remember to subscribe to the St. Mary's Church YouTube channel. Thank you.